Recent advances in technologies applied to medical purposes have seen an enormous increase in the amount of data that is becoming available to clinicians. This in turn has reinforced concepts like evidence-based medicine and personalized healthcare. Healthy Child has sought to develop a platform which will help clinicians make sense of and exploit this informational overload. Let's listen to Giacomo Pongiglione, Healthy Child's clinical coordinator and head of the cardiology department uh, in the Ospedale Pediatrico Bambino Gesù in Rome. With this project we meant to, to modify the approach we have to, uh, to, to the disease. Uh, usually uh, when, uh, analy when uh, analyzing a, a disease we use to gather information and then uh, analyze, uh, compare them, analyze them in the usual uh, pair fashion. Um, the problem is that today we uh, are able to gather so many information on our, on our patients <coughs> that uh, if we uh, use the, the classical pair comparison for, uh, for, for analyzing them, the fastest computer in the world would probably uh, take a billion years uh, uh, never reaching a real solution of the problem. So the only way of uh, really uh, uh, managing the, the total amount of, of information uh, we are able to, to gather, especially after the advent of, uh, of uh, gene analysis, is to totally change the approach uh, to, uh, to the disease. Uh, we therefore have to create a virtual model of the disease. As Giacomo Pongiglione told us, Clinical practice today produces an enormous amount of data and when it is integrated, what characterizes a specific disease is very hard to discover. The more clinicians study patients, the more they discover that each patient is different. Based on this assumption, the concept that Healthy Child has developed is that by comparing current patients to those in the recent past, clinicians will have further evidence to support their decisions. Thus, similarity searching could become the backbone of clinical decision support. Were we to perform peer comparisons comparing only two groups of patients in only two dimensions based on only two features, we would gain very little information. But, as we heard Giacomo Pongiglione say, Peer comparison on an elevated number of features would take an enormous amount of time, even with computing powers far greater than those available to us today. This is why Healthy Child has utilized the complex mathematical idea of the kernel. A kernel is an implicit representation of a non-linear function which maps input data in higher dimensional space. Basically speaking, it allows us to perform similarity searching in an efficient way. How has Healthy Child gone beyond traditional peer comparison? We've already seen how, by using the grid and the accompanying statistical tools, Healthy Child has enabled clinicians to find similar patients on a much larger scale than ever before. Let's hear Giacomo Pongiglione explain how the grid has made advanced similarity searching possible for the first time in pediatrics. This posterior connection has uh, created the possibility of creating database with much higher capabilities. Uh, therefore, with the possibility of, uh, <coughs> uh, of grouping patients not just on, uh, on based on semantics, but also on much more sophisticated uh, way of uh, aggregating them, and also the possibility of uh, <coughs> uh, analyzing them, overcoming the classical pair comparison, therefore with much more uh, sophisticated statistical tools. The key to Healthy Child's ICT clinical approach was to use generic methods which could be applied to a number of disease types. The studies were designed to truly integrate heterogeneous data. A wide variety of data from each clinical center was integrated into a single database. As we have seen, the integration and analysis of the clinical, biological and radiological data was performed by generic software for simple tasks and specific software for more complex disease-specific investigations.